Hey everyone, Colin here. I wanted to give you this quick tutorial on how to set up the Meta Trader app on your phone. So go ahead, of course, to your to your Apple Store or your Google Play Store, download the app, um, and now it's time to actually connect it with your broker account. Okay, so you want to make sure that you click down here on the settings tab. You should see this screen, and you want to click on new account. Once you click on new account, now you want to select log in to an existing account if you're currently waiting on your account to get verified go ahead and open up <clears throat> a personal demo account okay um, but in the meantime uh, we're going to presume that you're ready to open a live account so click on log in to an existing account then you click the search bar type in the name of your broker of course in my case right here i'm using traders way as an example so i start to type it in and then you will see the options come up traders way live or traders way demo i'm connecting my live account so i click on traders way live once i do that it's going to ask me to enter my account information you will get that from your traders way account so go ahead and enter your login and password information for that account and once you do that then it's going to bring you back here and you will actually see up at the top here the account that you have that you're logged into okay and all of your settings are ready now let's take a quick tour at uh, what all these different uh, buttons down here mean so if you click on quotes quotes actually show you the different currency pairs and uh, it shows you the spread as well so if you look at uh, uh, this euro usd that's the currency pair it shows you what the prices are the spread is simply the difference between the buying price and the selling price so as a tip you want to uh, it's it's nice when you can use um, currency pairs that have smaller um, smaller spreads simply because it means you get into profit quicker so think about this This basically means with a spread of 18 when you execute your trade you're starting off 18 pips behind so you have to this has to move 18 pips in your uh, in the direction that you anticipated for you to even break even right so that's why it's important to, to look at the spread of different currency pairs before you actually take that trade okay the next thing of course is the chart button so the chart of course is self-explanatory it shows you the candles it shows you what's going on in terms of the buying and the selling action uh, if you click on the trade button down here it'll show you what active trades you currently have going on right now Okay, it shows you, you know, your beginning balance. It shows you your equity, which will include your balance and whether or not you're in the positive or in the negative. It shows you what that possible balance will be. Uh, margin, free margin, and margin percentage level. You don't have to worry too much about those at this point. History will actually give you, uh, just like it says, a history of the trades that you've made so far. You can search by the day, by the week, by the month. Or a custom date range okay and um, so from there let's go into making a trade now so if you want to know of course where to make a trade let me give you a very simple example when you're here at the chart button and you hit the trade button up in the top right corner it's going to bring you here click on the market execution button to open up a list of available options normally market execution means i am ready to enter my trading position right now so if that's what you want to do you're ready to execute a trade at that very moment that's quite fine leave it right there at market execution then you simply hit sell if you think that the price is going to go down or you hit buy if you think the price is going to go up okay um and let's say you've made a trade and uh, you don't like the way that the trade is going or maybe you like the way that the trade is going and you want to exit that trade right away well um, once you're here on the trade button it shows you what active trade is going on you just want to press and hold down this line anywhere on this line where your trade is press and hold it down and you're going to get this option pop up right here these set of options so in this case you can close the trade right away or you can modify it we're going to presume you want to close it so you click on the close button and then it'll bring you to this and it can tell you you can close with a loss or if it was a positive trade it'll say close with a profit of whatever it is 
click that button and then your trade has been closed okay so that's how you execute your trades